Well, hey folks, I am out metal detecting today. I'm getting a late start today. It's already in the afternoon. Um, I'm in a field that's very near the field that I've been hunting in the last couple of episodes where I dug the uh, the Panamanian silver dollar and the bayonet and those uh, seated liberty dimes. The more I've looked at this area, the more I'm convinced that Civil War troops did pass through here. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty much convinced that the site itself goes back to the uh, the mid 1800s or so so expectations as always when I begin a hunt are very high about what this site could produce so yeah let's get after it let's dig some history all right well I just uh, just making my way out here to where I wanted to go and I just picked up that laying right down there so I think I'm gonna start paying a little closer attention that's some uh, I don't know, it would have been like a, uh, what do they call them, a crock? Piece of a crock? I always love the blue color on there though, so. All right, well, we're gonna start pay, paying attention and uh, see how we do here. Oh, well, this is my very first signal. It was a 63, 62, 63. There's the plug. And it appears as if it's going to be a penny of some sort either a wheat scent maybe an Indian head ringing kind of high for an Indian head but it's been shot you can see it right there it's been shot uh, not sure by what maybe a 22 something small let me put a brush on it and we'll see what this is I've I've found shot coins before several of them but it's a cool find. I mean, someone shot it and left it here and may have gotten lost when it got hit. Let me clean it up and see what we have. Probably a wheat scent. All right, well, I think it's going to be a wheat scent. Uh, hard to see there, but I think I can see the base of, base of Lincoln right there. And then I think this is, uh, I thought I saw a glimpse of the scent of one scent not focusing good but not a not a uh, Indian head and it's uh I haven't found any Lincolns I mean any memorials out here so I think that's definitely a wheat scent very cool though cool piece of uh history someone shot it all right on the board with a coin and a cool one at that all right target number two here Ring up pretty nicely. It's going to be a piece of brass. And it's going to be a piece of a utensil handle. Look at that. I think it's got a little design on it. The sun's playing tricks on me today. Some weird focusing. Let me, uh, yeah, I see some design on that. Let me, uh, let me put a brush on it see what it looks like yeah look at that got a nice little design on it it's uh, silver washed or something I don't think that's 1800 that's probably 20th century it's got some flower design or something on it two I guess we could call desirable so far it's a good way to start the hunt got a little surface find here it's gonna be a little musket ball, I think. Yeah, look at that. Hmm, I don't know if that is a musket ball. It's got a weird casting on it. Looks like it was almost too, well, I guess it could be though. Just a very crude cast, a oh, crude mold, I mean. Yeah, all right. We'll call it a little muskety ball. Like uh, 30 caliber maybe, 40. Not very big. We'll take that. All right, guys, I think I just popped something here. Uh, it was a scratchy 63, 64 signal. Um, right in this area that I was going to, seeing some uh, some brick and pottery pieces on the ground, so that's what I'm after. And I was not expecting 
this at all because I think I just popped a silver and it looks very thin oh my goodness <laughs> what is it I think it's hold can you see it right here oh my goodness all right I set this down let's get the let's get the water on it get some spray It's definitely hold. Don't tell me this is gonna be a half real. I shouldn't even say that yet. But that's sure what it has the feel and look of. It's in rough shape, of course. Do I see a, what do I see right there? <laughs> oh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've dug Spanish. It's been a good minute. All right, come on. Let me, just give me something here. Oh, what is it? What is it? Look how thin this is. That's got to be what this is. All right, let me work on it. Let me work on it a minute. See if I can get an ID. That's got to be what it is. What else would it be? All right. Let me work on it and I'll be right back. Well, I have absolutely no ID on this. But, I mean, it has to be a half real. I mean, it's look how thin this is. That's not, it's not a U.S. coin. And I've dug many half reals before, and I'll compare it size-wise, but I'm just not seeing anything on it. Looks like it might have been in fire at some point, but it is just worn completely smooth. I'll loop it when I get home. But as of right now, I'm calling that Spanish. <laughs> I'm dropping it down here back in the hole. And hopefully I can get something with loop just not seeing anything well that uh i mean that could have been worn for a lot of years and passed down certainly i was not expecting that uh age wise for this site but man i will take that <laughs> i will take that all day long it's silver and it's a coin and it's old and it's very old uh other than getting an id what more could you ask for all right, well, let's hang around right here, see what we can come up with. Well, I may have found, uh, may have found a piece to my utensil handle. This was laying there on the surface, right there. That's cool, just laying there. I love surface finds. <laughs> Very cool. All right, guys, like, I got something really good here. <laughs> I, th I thought it was going to be just trash. And I've already kind of brushed it off a little bit because something caught my eye on it. I thought it was going to be a piece of brass pipe. Just a piece of flattened brass pipe. But it's not. It's a scabbard tip. Look at this. And I think... I think this is an infield bayonet scabbard tip. I think that's what that is. I think it's a, I think it's a scabbard that would have held a bayonet. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I found pieces of these before, but never a complete one. Of course, this is just the tip. It's got it's flattened on the end. It's got this little uh, pedal top here. I'll get it cleaned up some more. I'm not going to mess with it too much more right now. That is an amazing find. I am 99% certain that that's what that is. A bayonet scabbard tip that would have been worn by a Civil War soldier. 
are carried by a soldier. Outstanding. Well, that's worth that's worth the hunt right there. Even with the uh, the Spanish silver, which the more I think about it, it's got to be Spanish silver. And now a scabbard tip. Wow. 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 All right. Well. <laughs> I'm probably uh, six yards, maybe five yards from where I dug the uh, the Spanish silver. So let's uh, let's beat this area up. See what else is here. Amazing. Okay, well, got another little uh, another little Civil War find here. It's going to be a 56 caliber Spencer cartridge. Look at that. And again, I'm right here in this same little area. Yep, that's for sure what that is. All right, well, we should uh, we should get on to some some lead, maybe, and some buttons. Hopefully, this is turning out pretty good. Still got uh, plenty of time here. See what else we can come up with. I uh, just popped a little uh, keyhole escutcheon off a lock plate. See it there? Would have been a skeleton key that went in there. A little brass piece. You can see it through the mud. Rang up nice. It's a little bit scratchy. A little brass piece. Looks like it had a little iron attachment there. All right, cool relic. Well, this one was almost on the surface. I've already pulled it out. And it broke apart. I think it would have been some kind of uh, drawer handle, maybe. Not sure, but I love the fancy on it. Old brass. Here's some geese flying over. That's cool, though. Nice green patina to it. We'll get it cleaned up. All right, let's try a live dig here. This one's kind of all over the place. Doing this with my left hand, so I'm about right in there. Let's see if we can do this. Y'all know I'm terrible at one hand live digs. We'll try it though in this mud. See anything? Let's see if I got it out. So now it's ringing up more like a uh, a wheat scent. It was very crisp. Now I can already see it. It's something big. See it right here? What is that? Hmm. That almost looks like a spur piece right there. Like the arm of a spur. It's very heavy. Heavy brass. Yeah, that's what that looks like to me. I don't think I can say for sure, but definitely that's what it looks like. It would match the, uh, match the site for sure. I thought this sounded leadish, and it is. Looks like it's going to be a fired musket ball. Yep. Okay, well, we're putting some pieces together. I always like to be able to confirm a site. I think we have. <laughs> With the... Uh, bayonet not far from here and the scabbard tip in this field a few pieces of lead who knows maybe a uh, maybe a soldier was wearing the uh, the silver coin and got it lost okay let's keep going all right well I got another little surface find here I heard it before I saw it what's that gonna be
Hmm. What is that? Some kind of leaf brooch thing? It's got some stones in it. Still got a couple there. Obviously, now that's not uh, precious or anything. What is it? Looks like some kind of leaf brooch, maybe? Hmm, that's cool. I don't know. It would have been fancy, though. Look at that. That's very cool. Had a 42-43 uh, signal here. It's going to be another musket ball. Look at this. And that's fired. Like a uh, mm, 36 caliber pistol shot. Probably. I like that. there in the sun so we're getting a few pieces of lead I'd love to uh, snag a three ringer or sharps or something like that we'll take these little musket balls well that purple piece of dishware right there caught my eye but as I was looking at it I got a signal what is this hmm, come on focus I don't know but as I was uh, looking at that I got a signal guys not to bury the lead here <laughs> it was a 62 signal and tell me that don't look like silver I think that's gonna be a mercury dime just lightly do it right there all right let's get some spray on it uh, where are we going to set it at here? Let's set it, I guess, somewhere right in here. Probably knock that off once it starts spraying. I usually... What in the world? What is this? Guys? What is this? What is it? <laughs> I'm afraid to touch it. What is it? Is this going to be a love token? I think it is. Look at this. Oh. My. Goodness. Oh my goodness, is all I can say. <laughs> I have never found a love token. Look at this. Wow. It's definitely a silver coin that was turned into what I've seen called a love token, obviously it's hold. Look at this. Seeing anything on this side? I'm not seeing anything right here to help me get an ID. It's uh I guess it's dime size. Look at that. All right, let me see if I can get these letters. M. What do y'all think? M. Hmm. Something J M L. J. I don't know. I'm just blown away by this. Look at the little intricate pattern around the edge I love it I have seen these dug before it did not ring up like a dime I'll tell you that it rang up more like a half real but it's reeded 
So it's not a half real. It could be a flattened. No, it's too short, too uh, round to be flattened. I guess it's a dime. Wow. Could it have been worn by a Civil War soldier if it's a seated half? Or excuse me, a seated dime? I don't know. I absolutely love it. What an amazing find. Two silvers on the day, and one is extra special. Okay, well, <laughs> on we go. You just never know, guys. Had like a 22, 23 signal. Thought I better dig it. It's a good little signal. I think it's gonna be a little two-piece button. Look at this. It is gonna be a little two-piece button. I think there's something on it too. What is that? Is that gonna be a little eagle cuff button? I think it is. Let me get a brush on this. Outstanding. Well guys, look at this. Absolutely, a little eagle and I think it's an eye. It may just be a general service, I can't tell, but I thought there was an eye in there. You see that? I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me or not, but definitely a little eagle and shield Civil War cuff button. Look at this. Well, that goes uh, that goes right along with the scabbard tip. Outstanding. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a general service. I should be able to clean it up a little bit more when I get home, but. Man, that's awesome. That is awesome. I've I've dug a ton of Civil War buttons over the years, but man, each one is just special. Amazing find for the American Civil War. Well, this is an interesting one. Look at this. It's heavy brass. It's flat on the back. on around this way hmm that's interesting it's like a knotted rope or cord that looks very familiar to me for some reason I don't know nothing's coming to me let me know what you think I don't think there were any spur designs like that it's heavy though I don't know let me know Got another little surface find popped it out from right there it's gonna be a little brass ring look at that I brushed it off huh well that was thin look at that a little design on there, a little bit of fancy. That's pretty cool. Huh. I like it. I might try to straighten it out. Probably very brittle. That was a deep signal. Like a 90-91. <laughs> Sounded really good. It's going to be a D-buckle. Pretty big one, too. That looks horse, horse-ish, horse tack. Man, that rang up nice. Well, my shadow is growing long, and I think it's time to head to the truck. This was just laying there on the surface. Some kind of little suspender clip or some kind of clip. I don't know why that little hole was there, though. I don't know. It was laying there on the surface, rang up low. Just happened to go across it so we're going to head to the truck 
maybe we'll get something else here in between the truck i'm about uh i don't know 150 yards from the truck so who knows if not we'll uh see you in the wrap-up all right well there's the board let's do the wrap-up as usual uh some of this stuff i didn't get recorded i'd call that a pretty good day pretty good looking board let's start over here run through some of the little brass pieces i got this looked really familiar to me but I couldn't ever place it. I thought it might be the lid. It's some type of compact. But they, uh, the little scaled thing right there looked familiar. And I just couldn't couldn't think of where I'd seen that before. So spoon bowls. Uh, I think this is going to be a spur rail. Um, I thought it was going to be an old clock gear. But the more I look at it, the more it looks like a, uh, a spur rail. Not sure though. Not, not, not completely sure on that. There's the big D. Got this little piece here. You can take a closer look at that. Still looks familiar to me. Just don't know where I've seen it. Maybe just a drawer pull. Something like that. Uh, I got a couple, two of the cartridges. The little Kia scutcheon. A couple of little brass pieces. The utensil handle. Piece of a pocket knife. Uh, not sure about that. A little brass. I was able to straighten the ring out. That little brass ring that I found. Straightened it out a little bit. And I brushed it with a uh, brass brush. Cool little ring. Uh... Pieces of pottery, shards, of course. Picked up one marble, another spoon bowl. There's that little handle piece. Uh, I think I ended up with five or six wheat scents. There's the one that had been shot. Uh, a couple of 1918s, and then uh, I think there was a 1940-something, and I couldn't tell what the other one was. That's a clad nickel. Got the little muskety balls. Um, this definitely could be part of a spur, uh, one of the arms. A uh, little clip, piece of lead. There's the uh, utensil handle. There's this little piece here. I was able to, able to straighten it out a little bit. Got a cool look to it. Um, and then uh, I guess you could call the uh, the four really good finds of the day. This was a general service. Turned out pretty decent. Little cuff button there. Eagle and shield. Uh, got the scabbard tip was able to clean that up a little bit that will display nicely along with some other relics i'm sure it will end up in a display case um, this is uh, by my best estimates compared to other half reals this is a half real it's got to be uh, well i say got to be it it sure appears to be by size um by the the thickness of it i just just feels like a half real to me. I don't guess I can ever say for sure, but I've looped it and looped it and looped it again and could not see any details. But we're going to call that a half real. But no doubt, find of the day, maybe the last good many hunts is this love token. I realized later I didn't really explain what a love token was for those of you who may not be familiar. Um, this this practice goes back probably to the 17th century, if not a little earlier. It was uh, they would take a, a silver coin usually, although some copper coins uh, were turned into love tokens. But usually a silver coin. They would smoothen one or both sides, and then um, apply some sort of design ornate features. Uh, these were all hand hand engraved, and uh, then they would apply like their own initials or their sweetheart's initials. Um, could be like some hearts or some other, um, you know, romantic saying, or maybe even a date. Some of them have a date for like a wedding or something like that. Uh, and then they would give them to the, to their, to their loved one, to their sweetheart. Um, and then this had a, uh, a hole in it. So it would have been worn as a pendant or a, uh, uh on a bracelet or a necklace. The back is smooth. I've looped this as well. Um, fairly certain just for just for the uh, popularity of these. These were very, very popular during the Victorian era, era and uh, pretty much were out of style, out of fashion by the 20th century. But So by the early 1900s, they weren't really doing this anymore. So I'm pretty confident saying this is going to be a, uh, a seated Liberty Dime. I guess it could be a barber, but um, I'm... I'm I guess just because I want it to be maybe, but I, I think there's a good chance it's a seated liberty. And then the the initials M L G, um, and then uh, a lot of times when these uh, scripted initials were put on, it was the actual middle initial that was the last initial. So M G L, 
Uh, and yes, of course, I am researching the uh, the property to see if I can come up with any sort of uh, confirmed individual, you know, wh who the person was, anything about them. So if I do come up with something like that and get a confirmation, I will, of course, post that update probably to uh, Instagram or my Facebook page. But definitely, definitely find of the day, find of the last few hunts. And I've had some really good finds here lately, but this is this tops them all, in my opinion. Just a truly one-of-a-kind piece right here. So I think that's going to do it. I would call that a pretty good hunt. I don't know about you guys. Um, thanks, as always, for watching. Appreciate you guys commenting, um, liking, subscribing, all that stuff. If you've not followed my other uh, social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, I, I'm even on TikTok, jump over there and check those out. I, I do try to post some different things across the different platforms. Um, but, but really grateful for everyone following along on this little hobby of mine. So, all right, that's going to do it for now. We will see you guys next time.